Hello there beautiful people. Today I am taking a look at the Rosebud Salve Tin. It's 0.8 ounces. I have been using this for about 20 years. It's kind of something that you can keep in your purse that's a cure-all for pretty much anything that you need. The basic premise of the product is it's for chap skin, smooth lips, and moisturizing. It has a wonderful, wonderful rose smell to it. You get in other smells, but I think the most popular is the ro rosebud salve. So, a little bit about this product. Let me tell you. So. It's heat sensitive and it melts, so if it melts in your purse, if you leave it in the heat, it's going to stick and you're not going to be able to get the lid off. So you want to make sure that it's not in too high of a temperature. It is, it's like a kind of a waxy lip gloss. So, so let me tell you some of the uses that you can use this for. You can outline the lips of your lip liner with your choice. Quarter inch from the outside of your lips towards the center. Then use a lip brush to blend in the salve to achieve a pouty look. Uh, you can use the rosebud salve alone or over your favorite hue of lipstick to moisturize and give it a dewy effect. Apply rosebud salve to eyebrows to tame unruly brows while also giving a nice sheen. Rosebud salve is a great on the on great on flyaway and frizzy hair. Dab a small amount into the palms of your hands and apply to your hair. So I read for years about models saying this was one of their favorite products. The I, I bought it because I read it in a magazine that that these models would always keep it with them and you can also use it on your hands, your cuticles. If you have a dry face and you really need something and this is what you've got in your purse, I highly suggest using it. It keeps your lips very soft. Um, I've put it all over my hands before because I've had dry hands and I didn't have lotion with me and that's worked really easily. A, a lot of people have trouble saying that they have trouble opening the lid. I find that you just turn it a little bit and it opens up. It's no problem at all. You can also dab it on your neck for a little bit of rosebud smell as a perfume. You can wear it, like I said, under your lipstick, over your lipstick. It can be used on flyaway hairs. It can be used on... I've heard you can use it on burns because it's moisturizing and I think it has aloe vera in it. It doesn't say here. But yeah, it's it's uh it's an original uh, the original only rosebud salve. The rosebud salve may be used as an all-purpose skin preparation skin, uh, cream. Rosebud salve may help relieve chapped lips and skin, diaper rash, blemishes, deter uh, detergent burns and rough cuticles, and may soften rough hands. So this is the size of 0.8 ounces. This lasts me for a good amount of time. Like I said, it's just a cure-all that you can carry in your purse along with Tylenol. You know, you've got, always got to have Tylenol in your purse.
This rosebud salve is something that is a, a multi-purpose uh, product. I've actually used it on my eyelids to give myself like a shiny eyelid. If I'm out, I know that I've been at work and not had any makeup in, with me and kind of use this to put on my cheeks and my lips and my eyelids and thankfully I kept a mascara in my desk so I could lengthen and make my eyebrows a little pretty and also straighten out my eyebrows I mean eyelashes I'd straighten out my eyebrows with the ro rosebud salve so all in one and uh, I highly recommend it. Like I said, I think I give it a four out of five, but as I always say, don't take my word for it, try it yourself. And thanks so much for watching.